<laughs> hey, writers. It's Megan and Ella in All Writers Welcome. If you're in the U.S., happy 4th of July. If you're in the rest of the world, still happy 4th of July, but it's, you know, like the 3rd of July or the 5th of July and just a good day. <laughs> it's a nice day. day to be alive. <laughs> um all right the question we're asking today is are you getting both quality and quantity out of your writing um we know you have goals you want to get a lot of words on the page but when mm -hmm. you are furiously scribbling or typing are you getting material that a is actually going into your draft and b you like um yes. you know are you getting are you getting writing that is really taking you taking you forward so, um, the best way to do this is to have really specific goals in mind when you write. You're the queen of goals, Ella. I love, yeah. I love how you help me set goals in mindset and in marketing and in all kinds of things. Um, but in writing, we may skip this part, right? We may just say, oh, I'm working on chapter six. I'll just work mm -hmm. on chapter six. Um, but if you want to get the most out of chapter six, you want to start it thinking, what am I, what do I need to get out of this? And I don't just mean to the next point in your outline, right? We know a lot of people um, don't even care to outline, right? I'm a pantser. Yeah. Pantser. <laughs> I don't, what is this outline you speak of? That is nonsense. Um, <laughs> but thinking about what you want to get out, maybe it's out of your characters, right? Oh, this is the chapter where I really want people to be able to see that Joe is a sensitive dude. You know, he's been a tough guy leading up to this, but this is where I want people to know he's got this soft inner core, like a molten mm -hmm. chocolate lava cake. <laughs> oh, Ooh, yummy, right? <laughs> um, or, you know, it, especially if you're writing key scenes, you know, you're working on your climactic scene or you're working on introducing a new character, um, are you really getting what you want? So Ella and I had an idea for how to help you get more out of your writing, both in terms of work count and quality, making mm -hmm. sure you're working on what you're writing. And it's to give you guys a writing challenge. Writing challenge. Woo! Um, the last time we did a seven day writing challenge, I know we had a lot of excitement. And um, we had people who said like, oh my goodness, I wrote so much more. And in fact, um, one of our fantastic members even made a a spreadsheet where people could track their work count. And we had people filling that in and responding in the group saying, oh my goodness, I wrote, you know, so many words. And what a lot of people said was, you know, I did the prompts or I did the challenge and I did mm -hmm. that writing time. And then I kept going and it rekindled a spark for me. It looks like you're drinking old fashioned sarsaparilla or something. Except it's really kombucha, <laughs> which they have <gasps> now at my Costco. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Go Idaho. <coughs> I love it. Oh no. Right. Back. Went down the wrong pipe. Kombucha. Um, so so a lot of people after that challenge um said, you know what, not only did I enjoy working on the prompts, but I kind of got my mojo back. I got my groove back. Are you okay? Are you gonna make it? Oh, phew. Um, so we thought, hey, we want to do another challenge. We want to help more people get their mojo back. I'm really moved by this challenge. <laughs> <laughs> He's really feeling it. Um, and so we thought, you know, the best way to do this is to, again, do seven days. There's something kind of magical about committing to a week. Um, and for this challenge, instead of building up the time, the last one started you at 10 minutes and took you all the way up to 60 minutes. This one, every writing challenge will be 30 minutes. And the reasoning behind that is you can find 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of you felt like, you know, 10 minutes, you barely got anything done. And I totally get it, right? It was more about like building that stamina, starting with something you know you can do. Um, 30 minutes is also totally doable. You know, it's one episode of your favorite TV show to skip at night yeah. and then write instead. Plus, plus, if you do the same amount of time over the whole course of the seven days, you can really measure your improvements over the time. Oh, right? fantastic point. Yeah. So that first day you start writing, you may not get as much as your 30 minutes. And then by the end, and you may fluctuate too. And yeah. that could be cool. So you, one thing you might get is you might go, oh, you know, I really built up my stamina, but you might also notice a pattern and you mm -hmm. might notice that, you know, the first two days were okay. And then that third day you were in a super groove, you know, and then 
you know, mm-hmm. other stuff happen. And you can ask, you look back on that third day and go, why did I eat my Wheaties for breakfast? You know, was it because <laughs> I had a conversation? The right topic. Or maybe it's the, yeah. you're like, maybe I have a really easy time with this thing, but it's yes. harder for me to do this thing. Who knows? But it, but information is good. Yes, exactly. And thank you so much for mentioning free right topic because you will, with this challenge, be getting prompts. And each one of these prompts is something you can use on your book. In the previous challenge, there were some um, prompts that kind of, you know, had a, a scene, like a description, and it was, you know, what would you do with this, which can be fun, but is very unlikely to be something you can actually use in your writing, right? It's very unlikely that I will have just magically come up with, oh, I have a character and he looks like that and he's in that setting, right? Right. Um, So all of these will be prompts that you can apply to your writing. Um, And they're challenges that have specific goals. And in the intro to the goals, it'll say like, you know, this is good for finding out more about a character um, that you feel this way about or whatever it is. So they set you up. So I'm going to go ahead and share the link for you guys to sign up for the challenge do, 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 and get going. So exciting. Okay, I'm going to put that in. Where am I putting that? Oh, I'm putting that in the comment box. Okay. <laughs> See, this is why this is why you can't leave me, Ella. The technology is beyond me. Okay. All right. Um, so that link is up. Nicole said, hi, I'm currently working on chapter five and need help with finishing. It's a rehearsal dinner. Oh man. Okay. Well, Nicole, this might be really good for you, especially um, all the different um, looking at characters and what they're feeling at that time. So yeah, definitely mm-hmm. jump on this one. And um, if you're kind of in the midway point of your book, it's good to get some more momentum. Can you also put the link over to the right, Megan? There's a thing. That has like above the comments. Above the comments. Yes. Which box am I looking for? I don't know exactly what it's called, but it will. Oh. It's like... <laughs> In the agenda, perhaps. No, I can't. No. I be... To the right of the there. agenda? Wherever you put getting both quality and quantity from your writing yeah. tip. Well, let me type there. It has locked yeah. me up. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, then you'd have to do it in the agenda. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll make sure you guys get this. It's the link is in the comments and we'll just keep posting it because um, Mm -hmm. the the point of this again is to get you writing more, but we want to make sure that what you're writing is serving you. If you've got pages and pages and thousands of words and you look back and you go, I don't, I, I didn't write with intention. I don't know if I could even use that or I'm using it, but it's just not my favorite. You know, that feels like a bummer. So we want to give you some opportunity to do, you know, thoughtful um, writing that really sparks. Yeah. Really sparks. Let's see. Yeah. I know. It would be in the, it would be an agenda. You would make it an agenda item. Yeah. And then you'd show it. (laughs) Let me click on that area. Oh, let's try this. Okay. Do, 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 all right. Do, 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 do. That was wow. I was doing that out loud. That's amazing. That was my that was my this is working music. All right, guys. Um we, like we, Price is right. Make music. you listen to us uh, sing and dance for like much longer. Price is right music. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah. But it's so it's so like peppy. It really gets you going. Okay, so that's definitely our advice. Before you start the writing challenge, listen to the price is right music. <laughs> um, but if you're ready, like Nicole is, you know, heading into a chapter and she knows she really wants to nail it. Perfect time to do a challenge. If you have been not getting to your writing time, perfect time to do a challenge. If you are on a roll and you know you're in a really great creative space right now, perfect time to do the challenge. Sustain that energy. Do what Ella said. Look back at when you're getting the most writing done and use that to learn. <gasps> I forgot to talk about the most exciting part. What? 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 <laughs> There will be prizes. Oh. So when you sign up, you're going to get a link to put your name on a spreadsheet so that you can count your words day by day. And if you enter your name every day, or excuse me, if you enter your word count every day on the spreadsheet, you will be entered to for a chance to win some fabulous writing prizes. <gasps> da, 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 da. So even that more so motivation 
to get on this writing challenge. So we really hope you join us. The point is for it to be fun, for it to be productive and give you the prompts that will get you the writing you want, for you to build that habit, learn about your writing habit and when you're doing your best writing and for you to win prizes. So prizes. I think that's a, a lot of, yeah. a lot of prizes are fun. Prizes are fun. <laughs> and thank you, Ella, for stating the obvious for everybody. Yes. <laughs> Okay. Awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness. We are squirrely today. All right, you guys. Um, if you have questions about the contest, go ahead and throw them into the comments. You can also um, tag us to make sure that we see your, your questions. Yes. Um, yes. And go ahead and sign up. And then we're so excited for you to Writing. write more. Challenge. <laughs> do, do, do. All right, guys, we will catch you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Do, 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 do.